Okay, what we have here is a simple uh, differential equation, uh, x squared times d2y with dx squared plus 4x dy by dx plus 2y is equal to ln x. We need to use the substitution x is equal to, okay, x is equal to e to the t to generate a differential equation of the form a d2y with dx dt squared plus b dy by dt plus cy is equal to gt. Now, to be able to do something like this, what we're going to do, we're going to differentiate the substitution. So we're going to say dx over d, dt is equal to e to the t. So we're differentiating with respect to t, but we need dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to using the chain rule dy by dt times dt over dx. So th therefore, we've got dy by dt times dt over dx. We know that dx over dt is e to the t, therefore dt over dx is e to the minus t. And now from here, we're going to try to find the second derivative, d2y over dx squared. So we're differentiating with respect to x. So we're going to differentiate um, dy by dx with respect to x. So if we do that, we're going to get ddx into dy by dx, which is found to be dy by dt times e to the minus t. Now, to be able to differentiate this with respect to x, we're going to have to use the chain rule again. So what we do, we differentiate this with respect to t. So d dt into dy by dt times e to the minus t. And because you're differentiating with respect to t now, you multiply by dt over dx. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the product rule to differentiate whatever we have inside. So if we differentiate this, we're going to get, let's take this as u, so u dv by dx, or you can take this as u if you want, so u, um, are you, let, let's take this one as u, so dy by dx, I mean dy by dt, times the derivative of this, so that's going to be minus e to the minus t. Now we're going to take e to the t, I mean e to the minus t. And then you differentiate to take the second derivative of this. So this is d2y over dt squared. So rearranging that, you should get e to the minus t times d2y over dt squared. Okay, minus e to the minus t times um, dy by dt. And all of that being multiplied, okay, by dt over dx. And dt over dx was found to be e to the minus t. So we're going to multiply by e to the minus t. So our second derivative, d2y over dx squared, turns out to be, so e to the minus t, e to the minus t, e to the minus 2t. I've got e to the minus 2t. Um, then again, over here you multiply these two again, you're going to get e to the minus 2t. So you can factor these outside. So this e to the minus 2t is factored out. And inside we've got d2y over dt squared minus dy by dt. Now this could be written in a better form. Okay. So if we were to look at e to the minus t, we know that uh, x is equal to e to the minus t. I mean e to the minus 2t. Then x squared would be equal to e to the minus 2t. So, and therefore, I mean, I would rather say e to the t is equal to x. There we go. So e to the minus, I mean, e to the 2t is equal to x squared. So e to the minus 2t is like 1 over e to the 2t, which is 1 over x squared. So this can be rewritten as 1 over x squared into d2y over dt squared minus dy by dt. Now that is the second derivative. And what else can we um, try there? Let's see, we've got dy by dx, which is this. So this can be rewritten as dy by dt and e to the minus t because e to the t is x. So e to the minus t is then 1 over x. So we're going to substitute this and this into the original differential equation. Now our original differential equation was all of that there. So we've got x squared d2 over dx squared. So let's let's write this again here. x squared 
times d2y over dx squared plus 4x dy by dx and then plus 2y squared to ln x. So now we've got x squared. d2 over dx squared is 1 over x squared into d2y over, D2 over dt squared minus dy by dt and then plus 4 times x times dy by dx and dy by dx is found to be 1 over x um, so dy by dx 1 over x times dy by dt and then plus the 2y and is equal to ln x now we know that um, let's border this off here that x to the t x is equal to e to the t therefore I can say ln x uh, is equal to ln e to the t. So that means um, x is equal to t. Right, so there we go and um, we can just write this as t. So let's go and simplify everything. So these two cross out and now I'm left with d2y over dt squared minus dy by dt okay, plus 4x so the x and the x can go plus 4 dy by dt and uh, plus 2y is equal to t so simplifying further I'm going to be left with this is going to boil down to d2y over dt square minus 1 dy by dt plus 4 dy by dt is plus 3 dy by dt and plus 2y and is equal to t. So this is our new uh, differential equation which can be solved now. That's our uh, generated differential equation. And so here we are for this question. I hope this helps. Take care.